Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Pisces their weekly love read. Pisces, this is for the week of July 25th through the 31st, 2022. Um, we are getting cards on the person on your mind or the person coming towards you. If you have a person on your mind, that's what this read is about. Or if it's a person you don't know, it could be the person coming towards you. We're going to get their thoughts, the blockages, the actions, and the outcomes for your relationship or for your situation. Um, sorry, I can't do two things at once, apparently. Um, and that's what we're going to do for this reading. We're also going to get some love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot, the Hermit Tarot channeled love messages from the Hermit Tarot, heart to heart messages from Crystal Moon Oracles. And we're going to finish off the read with Whispers of the Ocean Oracle cards from Angela Hartfield. Um, these are general reads, guys. Keep that in mind. If you feel like this is not your read, then go ahead and check your moon and your rising signs. If you're unfamiliar with what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that'll take you to, to uh, a web page to get you that information. There's also... Ooh, ooh, there's also a link in the web, in the description below to take you to my personal website if you're looking for a personal read. I was going to say about the timing of the reads. The, um, the reads are all pretty much timeless. I put the dates on them so I can keep track of the content that I'm putting out to make sure I'm putting out enough content at least once a week um, for individual signs. But um, let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. So what is your person um, thinking... Your person has a ton of passion for you guys. Um, you could potentially be dealing with a Leo. We have uh, the Strength card and the King of Wands here. So those are two Leo cards to me. Um, see, so two, two lions basically, right? Um, but I feel like your person is thinking that they absolutely have a clear mind. They, they know what they want. They want a new stable start. They have a clear mind and they know what they want out of the situation. I feel like they see you as a very strong individual. Um, I see, they see you using, um, courage and bravery. Um, and you're very kind of resilient. Uh, I feel like your person is showing up, um, and they feel like they have a ton of passion. They see you as a very passionate, smoldering, sexy, flirty kind of energy. Um, they definitely have a lot of passion for you as well. But they see the situation between the two of you uh, very slow and steady. Um, kind of slow and steady wins the race. Very, very slow. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest night in the deck so i feel like um their thoughts are very much they're very fond of you they want a very stable um committed loyal situation but they feel like it's going very slowly there's tons of passion between the two of you and your person really knows what it is that they want um in their mind the blockages the seven of pentacles the magician the Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. So the blockages, um, guys, so to me, the Two of Pentacles is kind of juggling a situation. This is usually more than one person. Um, so I don't know if this is you juggling more than one person or them, but um, this is the blockage. So I feel like this is not a balanced connection. Um, I feel like one person is manifesting the situation. I don't think both of you are um but i also see um things not really growing or taking too long to grow so i feel like again the pentacles is kind of being the blockage is is kind of just a slow slow burn and it's really not um satiating the person or you like i feel like it's um I don't want to say boring because I feel like there's tons of passion, but it's just moving so slow that it's barely moving. Um, I don't see that both of you are manifesting this situation. I see someone that is um, juggling between two people. But then we do have uh, this love offer. I feel like that um, this being the blockage, um, I almost feel like there's like... Um, gaslighting happening like someone is saying to the other person all these things this person wants to hear so I feel like um, I'm surprised the seven of swords didn't come out guys to be truly honest with you because I feel like there's some deception in this situation I feel like um you or them might be very flirty and in like a player kind of energy like someone is not necessarily looking to 
completely commit. But I feel like your person definitely has a lot of passion for you and sees you in a very positive light. So, all right. So let's see. What is the actions that are going to be taken in this situation? The death and rebirth. King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the higher font. Well, <laughs> I think things are going to be shifting, guys. Um, so I do see um, this death and rebirth. This is a Scorpio card along with the King of Cups. Could be a Scorpio or a different water sign. This could be you too, Pisces. Um, but I feel like uh, that the action that's going to be taken is there's going to be an ending to all this nonsense, uh, all this um, juggling, all this kind of gaslighting. I feel like um, there's definitely true love here. Someone's going to communicate that love or show that love. I feel like the nonsense is going to end and there's going to be a rebirth to this connection. I feel like, um, I, I almost called you Scorpio Pisces. I feel like you were showing up in your power as well, but I think this person is going to be um, telling you how much they love you. I feel like you're going to reciprocate that love, right? This is a very grounded, committed, loyal energy here. I feel like this is stable. This is nurturing. This is uh, financially stable. This is committed. This is warm. This is caretaking. Um, and this is a higher level commitment. To me, this is a marriage, spiritual connection, higher level commitment. So the action that I see coming is like um, an ending of the nonsense and a rebirth to a new beginning with love with stability and commitment and care and compassion and a higher level commitment, such as a marriage. So I do see marriage coming towards you guys. I do see marriage being in the cards 100%. It's just been taking a very long time. And what's going to be the outcome between Pisces and their person? The sun. Yeah, you might be really dealing with a Leo. We have... Three Leo cards for me in here. <laughs> the sun is um, happiness, optimism, joy, positivity. Um, the sun is the most positive card in the deck. I'm going to have to clarify, guys. Oh, well, maybe not. I'll just, oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so the outcome, guys, uh, is going to be good. It's going to be positive. It's going to be joyful. It's going to be optimism. It's going to be happiness. Could potentially be a child. Very, very, very positive energy. Very happiness. I mean, look at this card. It's amazing. Um, but that and the strength card are Leos. And then the king of wands is a Leo too. So I feel like lots of fire. Lots of passion. Um, this connection is a reunion. This is um, soul connection. This is a nostalgic feeling. This is a person that is uh, a soulmate. Uh, to me, the Six of Cups is a soulmate energy. It's a reunion. It is a very nostalgic feeling. So um, you could potentially, if you don't know who this person is, it could be someone you've known in a past life, but this could be someone that you've been with previously. Um, very nostalgic, very warm feelings, lots of caring. Um, I feel like you, your souls know each other and it's felt like that since you guys have met. Um, I do see someone being a bit guarded though. I feel like they are worried about lies and deceptions and that the situation where the action is going to be a higher level commitment, they're going to kind of be unsteady. They're going to feel like they need to protect themselves. They're not sure to trust because of the lies and deceptions in the past or that gaslighting kind of energy. This is going to be someone, something that's totally unexpected though. I, cause I feel like, um, I don't know if this is you or them. I almost feel like it's them, guys. Don't shoot the messenger. I feel like they're going to be um, surprised that you're really coming back and, and giving an honest, full effort, to be truly honest. But look at this, you guys. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Ten of Cups. This is exactly what you want in a love read. <laughs> Um, this is the Ten of Pentacles. This is long-term commitment, stability. This is a blended family. This is marriage. This is house, home, dog, right? This is um, financially stable, emotionally stable, committed, long-term loyal. This is your divine counterpart. This is the Empress. This is the divine feminine. This is nurturing. This is abundance. This is compassion. This is empathy. This is multiplying and making everything better. This is a nurturer, a maternal kind of um, caretaker, 
the Ten of Cups is that happily ever after true love soulmate energy. This is the, the, the wedding, the white picket fence, the dog, the house, the car, the kids. This is happily ever after. I do see this all coming to you guys. And I do see it coming um, as a return or reunion. Potentially with a Leo. I see so much um, unexpectedness though because they're really kind of... I feel like it's them. I don't feel like it's you. They're going to be really unsure. I feel like, honestly, to be truly honest, guys, I feel like um, the Pisces had like that player energy more than the, the person that you're thinking of. Um, so take it how it resonates. Roles can be reversed, guys. But um, I definitely see true love, happiness, union, divine counterparts, joy in your future. All right, let's get the Love and Romance Journey deck from uh, Queen Sugar Tarot and see what pops out for Pisces. Love letter. So maybe Pisces will be writing a love letter to your person or they'll be writing to you. Wife, yep, again. Love letter and wife. new pathway i feel like that's that um ending and rebirth right like there's gonna be a new pathway for you guys harmony yeah i feel like um there's there's all that chaos kind of in the beginning um and then there will be harmony I think you will take a new pathway together. This will lead to a marriage um, and love letters might be involved. So they might write you a love letter. You might write them a love letter. Let's get a couple of channeled love messages from the Hermit Tarot channel love message deck for Pisces. Love me. I'm ready. Hmm. I would do anything for you. I worry about us a lot. I don't want to lose you. I want to get you drunk. And then again, the Ace of Swords. So that clarity, that mental clarity. So we have one, zero, one, seven, four, ten, and 15. Um, I think this person definitely, I think you guys have lots of fun together. I think it's very passionate. I think it's very exciting. I think you guys just really enjoy each other's company. Um, they don't want to lose you or you don't want to lose them. But there's the worry about the situation. They would do anything for you. You would do anything for them. You guys are both like, love me and I'm ready. We're going to get a couple heart-to-heart -heart messages from Crystal Moon Oracles for Pisces. I'm ready for our future together. You feel like home. That's like a twin flame card to me right there. I like the way you make me feel when you are nowhere near. And I still repeat the things you said to me in my head. I wish we could be together right now. So yeah, I do feel like, um, gosh, I don't know who's who in this read, guys. I'm so sorry. It's kind of like flip-flopping on me. But um, somebody's ready for the future together. They want to be with you right now. I feel like um, it will be coming. I definitely think it will be coming. There's definitely a reunion. This is definitely someone you know. All right, let's just keep moving. All right, Pisces, we're going to get a Whispers of the Ocean Oracle card for you from Angela Hartfield. Uh, what does Pisces need to hear? That's this deck. Single-mindedness, 14. Choose your own path and what is best suited to you. So I'm going to read from the book, so forgive me when I sound like I don't know how to read. That's what happens when I have to read out loud in front of an audience. You have harnessed your strengths and talents in order to bring about a triumphant outcome to your endeavors. You have managed to get through the drama of the past. You have overcome challenges along the way and are focusing your energies on one goal 
that will lead you to success. Stay focused. This is your time to shine and come out on top. Pay attention to what your body is telling you and trust your intuition. Avoid getting too wrapped up in your thoughts. Thinking and rethinking about what's going on in your life will only make things unclear. Remember to draw on the strengths uh, and qualities that are uniquely yours. Your own guidance is best. Barracudas are brave and have focused are, are focused opportunists. They rely on speed and the element of surprise and the balance of work, play, and rest. Barracudas tend to be cast as vicious predators due to their prominent and protruding teeth like in their large size of their body. In truth, the barracuda is much more likely curious about divers and other humans they meet. They do not attack unless they feel threatened or something or someone is interfering with their query. quarry. Sometimes we must detach from our expectations, criticisms, and be prepared to defend our claim for a better future. So there you go, guys. Choose your own path and what is best suited for you, Pisces. Um, I definitely see a true love here, guys. Um, I think there is like a twin flame energy a little bit because uh, I feel like it's kind of a sordid path. Uh, it's not necessarily all gumdrops and lollipops. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this read. Um, if you guys are looking for a free love read, I do have a contest going on right now. You have to go to my YouTube page and go into my videos. I think it's called a free love reading contest. And go to that video if you comment and like it and subscribe to my page. If you do those three things, you'll be entered into a reading. So um, please do so if you're interested. Um, if you feel inclined to do so, please like, share, comment, and subscribe on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time guys, take care. Bye-bye.